This question is mass to mass stoichiometry. It can be kind of confusing, but it also can be very straightforward. So be patient here and you can get it. We've got lead and sulfur reacting to form lead 2 sulfide, PB with a 2 positive, S with a 2 negative. And so therefore that's how PBS comes together. It's a solid because all ionic compounds are solid at room temperature unless they're in solution. This isn't in solution. No solutions here. But is that what sulfur is? No, don't. Sulfur is S8. You're not allowed to forget that. So it's S8 and sulfur is a solid at room temperature. Okay, so we've got to balance the equation properly. Eight sulfurs here, one lead, one lead. Eight sulfurs here, so we better put an eight in front. That means eight leads, eight here. Eight, one, eight ratio. The question is, we have a mass here. What's the mass that we can produce here as long as we have lots of lead to react with? And this is called the limiting reagent. Okay. Oh, boy. Here's what some people do. Not a very good idea. They say, well, look, it's one to eight. So take this, multiply it by eight, and you get this. It's real simple. One to eight, so take that, multiply it by eight. No. Can't do it for this very, very important reason. What's this ratio again? It's a mole ratio. What's this? That's grams, and you want grams here. Listen, this is what you have to do. You have to take this grams and turn it into moles of sulfur, and then use the 1 to 8 ratio to find the moles of this compound. But that's not good enough because you want the grams. So you have to do another molar mass step to be able to find that mass. This is a kind of a multi-step thing, but watch how it's done. It's very straightforward. You got 6.43 grams of S8. Well, we don't want grams of S8. We want moles of S8. So we want to keep moles of S8 and get rid of grams of S8. And the molar mass of 8 S's, that's 32.06 times 8, is going to be 256.48. So 256.48, that's how many grams there are in one mole of S8 so far, right now, the grams cancel, we've got moles of S8. Ah, that's good, we want moles of S8. Oh, no, we don't want moles of S8, we want moles of this. But what's the ratio? 1 to 8. So now we do the ratio step. That's like the hub of, around which everything revolves. It's that ratio step. So we need to cancel out moles of S8. Notice we're always just canceling something and leaving something else, right? So for every... How many moles of S8? Well, there's one mole of S8. We have how many moles of PBS in our balanced equation? Well, 8. So we'll end up multiplying this by 8 and then dividing by this, but we're not done. Look, we've got to get rid of the moles of PBS. We don't want that. We want grams of PBS. That's the question. All of these ratios here get us to this point to be able to say, oh, all we need is the molar mass of PBS. And PBS's molar mass is 1 lead, 207.19, uh, added to sulfur, 32.06. And you get as a molar mass there, 239.25. So add those together, you get 239.25 grams of PBS every time you have one mole. When you do all of this, this times 1, times 8, times this, divided by this, divided by 1, divided by 1 again, you're going to get, in the end, an answer that cancels out all of these units and leaves you with the grams of PBS. You've got to go through that methodically to be able to get an answer of 47.984. That's 47.984 grams of PBS. That's what your calculator barfs out. But you don't want calculator barf. You've got to round that to the right number of significant digits. Five here, infinite, 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 because they're exact numbers. Infinite number of significant digits. Infinite number of zeros after the decimal for those numbers. Five here, three. You've got to keep three. 47.9. I'll put that eight rounds up. So that makes that a zero, that an eight, and you get 40... 8.0 grams of PBS, there's your answer. This is the hardest stoichiometry that there really is to do, except maybe for the next one coming up.